Hi everybody, it's Paul with Forever Fit, and I want to welcome you back to the Weekly Fitness Challenge for seniors. This week's challenge is going to be about fat, and it's not the fat that you're thinking of, it is fat that's more important. It is your feet, your ankles, and your toes. Today I'm going to show you some stretches and some mobilization techniques and some exercises for your feet, your ankles, and your toes to help them function better and perform better. Many times our feet, ankles, and toes are not doing their job and we have no idea that they are sleeping. Uh, our feet are the furthest uh, distance from our central nervous system and our spinal cord and they often get uh, reduced signaling to them so they become weaker and we have no idea but our feet are very smart and they figure out how to get the job done when things aren't working at a hundred percent so I'm going to use a couple of tools to demonstrate some of my uh, fat techniques First one I'm going to use is a golf ball, okay? And I'm going to use this to stimulate the underside of my foot or my arch. And you do this when you're sitting down. And just take a golf ball and roll your arch right from kind of the mid portion of your heel right up to your toes, just kind of up and down any old way. And just roll that foot over that golf ball. You may have some serious sensitivity there. Uh, you're not going to hurt yourself. You're not going to break anything, but just kind of work it around on that underside of your foot on this arch part between your toes and your heel. And that is a great way to warm up those uh, arch muscles and the muscles along the bottom of your feet. Second, little tool is also is a dumbbell and I'm going to take this dumbbell and I'm going to set it right in front of me and I'm going to put my toes on the dumbbell on the middle portion of it if you have big feet get a bigger dumbbell uh, and I'm going to start with doing some toe extension and toe flexion uh, toe extension is lifting your toes up toe flexion is pushing them down so what I like to do is start with one foot and do all the toes together and try and curl them down and extend them up, curl them down and extend them up. And that's over the dumbbell. It makes it a little bit easier when you have this object, this rounded object below your toes. And I do about 15 to 20 of those on both feet. After doing that, I'll put my foot on the floor and I'll do the same thing where I extend my toes up or lift them off of the ground, but I leave the, the ball of my foot on the ground and then I bring them back down and I push them into the ground. Lift them up, push them down. Lift them up, push them down. Lift them up, push them down. Now I'm not lifting my whole foot off of the ground like this. I'm just doing my toes. We're starting with the toes here and we're trying to stimulate these muscles on top of the foot. They're called toe extensors and then push down toe flexors, okay? And we do that on, on both feet, of course. And I'm going to move one joint up to the ankle, continue working in that same direction. And yes, I'm going to bring my foot all the way off the ground, keeping my heel on the ground. So I'm pulling the rest of my foot up off the floor. This is called dorsiflexion. And this is stimulating and strengthening these muscles in the front portion of your shin. Let me pull my pants up so you guys can see my foot a little bit better. I'd recommend doing these uh, barefoot with socks on or barefoot not doing them with shoes on. 15 to 20 reps on everything, okay? Uh, from there, 
we're going to go into some motions uh, that are side to side. And this is going to be seated also. Uh, so I call these a windshield wiper. Take my foot. I'm going to switch to <clears throat> And I hold it on the floor. And I move the toes from left to right and left to right along the floor kind of like a windshield wiper works in your car now many people are gonna want to move your hip while you're turning your foot you want if, if that happens stabilize your your hip with your with your hands and just try and move your foot this is a working muscles down here in your lower leg on the outside and on the inside so this is an ankle exercise not necessarily a foot exercise back and forth two three out and back is one four five if your foot starts to come off the ground okay get those toes back on the ground you want to keep contact with the ground during this motion if you feel like you need to make this a little more challenging uh, I have an ankle loop here that you can place on your feet and that will and then put a little bit of tension and then pull out to the side so you're not going to get the pushing in motion but you're going to get the pushing out motion and so really increase the the, the uh, effort needed and the stimulation and the strengthening in the outer portion of the lower leg. In order to do it the other way, pulling it across, you can cross your feet and then pull across like that. It's a little more challenging positionally, but it can be done. Or you can hook it on the leg of a chair or a table hook your foot in there and then pull across that way once again don't move the whole hip when you're doing this that is our seated routine uh, you may do all of these exercises standing up if you prefer uh, and so I would start seated and then um, after a couple of days of doing them seated, do them standing up. Same thing, I'm gonna turn. Okay, we've got toe extension, okay, and toe flexion at the same time. So I'm lifting my toes up and down, okay. Then we've got rise, rising up onto your toes. This is called plantar flexion. And we also have inversion, which is turning in, and eversion, which is turning out. So give these exercises a try. These are something you can do every single day. And it will help with improving your balance, improving your mobility and stability in your lower legs and feet. And it will also improve hip extension and other hip motions because when the body senses stability and strength in the feet, it allows for more mobility or flexibility in the joints up above it. So I thank you for uh, watching our weekly fitness challenge for seniors. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right in the middle of the page and please share this with your friends and like us on Facebook and YouTube and all the other social media channels out there. Hope to see you next week.